So a lot of people come out and visit us and come out fishing with us and they don't live here. How are we going to get this fish home? You have this wonderful experience right out here in the Golden Gate catching king salmon, rockfish, halibut, but you want to bring it home to your family to share. How do you do that? Is that possible? And I'm going to give you a short little tutorial how I get it done. So I've traveled to Mexico, I've gone to Hawaii, I've traveled all over for fishing, and I always bring a little bit home for the table. So I like to use my little travel Yeti. Um, if it's a bigger fish, I have another Yeti that's a little bit bigger and can carry more fish. Um, but any size will do. But the first thing you're gonna do when you catch your fish is we're gonna give you a bunch of salmon in Ziplocs. So once you have your Ziploc, make sure it's not wet get some paper towels and try to pat it dry and put it in a Ziploc and ask the hotel if you can store fish in their freezer overnight. Um, usually during your stay they have no problem helping you with that so just put in a Ziploc nice and dry and freeze it for the night. The next day when you're traveling you have to always make sure the airlines don't want you traveling with any kind of fluid whatsoever so that's why I want you to make sure your fish is dry and that it's frozen before traveling and um, if you're traveling across the United States and you're more concerned of it getting there in time without it thawing out make sure you get some dry ice at like your local store store and um, pack it in there with it as well. Um, usually I take it as a carry-on and um, I just have it like underneath my seat because these are kind of small but you can also check it too like if you have a lot of fish you can buy a cooler when you're even international at any store buy a cooler and you can pack your fish in there with dry ice. Usually what I do is I don't um, seal it until I get to the airport because I'm gonna let them know I'm traveling with fish and then they like to usually take a look at it make sure you're not traveling with ice and that there's no liquid in it so once you do that then you just seal it up and with tape while you're there or stick zip it up in whatever cooler you have so just make sure before you travel that you are checking with your airlines and your hotel prior to traveling this is a great way of making sure that they're okay with you storing fish in their freezer and that the regulations apply and then that's how you travel with fish